you can walk, we leave that chair in the back. This morning, new accounts of the terrifying moments aboard Hawaiian Airlines Fly 35 from Phoenix to Honolulu Sunday. The turbulence was really, really rocky. Hawaiian 35, heavy. Did you need uh, uh, medical personnel uh, at the gate? Uh, yes, we do. Hawaiian 35. Sudden and severe turbulence, leaving passengers lurching violently up and down, hitting their heads. A flying water bottle cracking the ceiling. Video from inside the cabin shows several on board shell shocked, and among the injured, a 14 month old child. It looks like everybody's going to survive. There were no fatalities, and I'm hoping folks don't have to stay in the hospital too long and can get back to their loved ones, whether they live here or are on vacation, and of course, the crew members. The plane making an emergency landing in Honolulu with 20 passengers hurt, 13 of them taken to a local hospital, others treated in the terminal for cuts to the head, bumps and bruises, some with vomiting and nausea. One passenger temporarily losing consciousness. Three flight attendants who were moving around the cabin are among the injured, but none of the injuries considered critical. The plane is heavily damaged. There's internal damage to the aircraft, some panels that are, that are bent and buckled. Um, that will uh, need replacing and uh, and the aircraft is undergoing a, a, a thorough inspection is going to require some maintenance work before we put it back in the air. There were scattered thunderstorms in the area, but the airline says there was no warning that that particular patch of air was dangerous. Still, the seatbelt sign was on at the time. ABC News aviation analyst John Nance says this is a lesson for all flyers. This is the very reason that pilots like myself constantly warn you from the cockpit to keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you're in your seat, regardless of flight conditions. Because if we hit something like this and you're not strapped in, you can go flying. The NTSB is investigating the incident and will look at the thunderstorms in the area and whether it was safe for the plane to fly. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.